Hi, good morning. Welcome to Future Mathematics. Yeah. Here again we have uh, another interesting question uh, based on number systems under digital laws of design. See, uh, given a quadratic equation, you have a quadratic equation and the roots are given as 3 and 6. The roots 3 and 6 not necessarily the roots of this quadratic equation but given the roots of this quadratic equation they are 3 and 6. Now in this scenario we have to compute the base of uh, these two so two quantities 3 and 6. <coughs> so how do you do this? Okay see life is very happy when you have something like this. For example in, the, in our last lecture say you have say uh, 46 x equal to say 34 say base 10. So now life is very happy in computing the base value x right. So we are very familiar with this kind of equality problems something give something given right hand side and finding for left hand side or vice versa. But when we the moment we see uh, this kind of questions yeah we just apply some breaks. No, just don't apply any break. Let's resume. Let's accelerate. Let's get set go. Okay. Okay, let's start working on this beautiful question again. So now what you do? Let me let me accept my quadratic beautiful quadratic equation. See quadratic equations are always beautiful. One of the beautiful equations we have in mathematics, we are really blessed. You know, we have quadratic equations. <coughs> okay, we have a separate uh, video on these quadratic equations and we investigate more about quadratic equations in our latter or in our subsequent lectures. Okay, so you have this quadratic equation. Now what you do, okay, anyways, the coefficient of this quantity or you can leave as it is say this is one okay so we need to venture one step forward now we need to find the base we need to find the base let so let base let base we will assume as some p okay let base be some p some some variable some quantity p now as we have here coefficient one so i can take or x square so i i just have only one so x square multiplied by positional weight p power zero i have a single quantity so therefore we are multiplying by a single positional weight p power zero you cannot multiply by p raised to the power of one or two something like that because you have self one quantity like that okay anyways uh, now let's venture let's venture towards right you see I have here in this number 11 I have couple of digits one and one okay so if you if you choose this one this number I mean sort of this that digit so now what you have so I have p power 0 multiplied by 1 plus now for this one yeah now for that digit I'll take coefficient multiplied by positional weight now p power 1 so all so all multiplied by x okay all multiplied by x now what you have further further we go uh, we need to make extra effort to succeed in getting answer so I have again in this number I have couple of digits 2 and 2 so I take this 2 so if I take this 2 so I multiply coefficient 2 multiplied by positional weight p power 0 and now this fellow this 2 I take that 2 coefficient 2 multiplied by positional weight p power 1 okay 
you need not bracket this quantity okay so this is equal to again one of the beautiful quantity we have zero in mathematics again we have a beautiful lecture i'm sorry i'm sorry again we have a lecture on on this we investigate uh, we investigate about that zero in detail okay our main purpose is to unlock is to unlock various concepts and really understand how we have how can we unlock certain misconceptions as well okay so that's the latter part <clears throat> now what i do i have three and six okay now i take now if i solve for this i get x square minus let me put it down like this so i have x square minus p plus one p plus one x plus twice the p plus two equal to zero so now what you do now you again you have couple of unknowns i don't know what is x and p either i don't know any of these two quantities now for that see in every question question will always help you okay so don't ever worry for questions you happily invite questions because questions will definitely help you let me take one of the possible cases for x equal to for x that is 3 because the roots of this quadratic equation are given 3 and 6 not necessarily true but for now we accept 3 and 6 as it is given in the question now i have i have an option to take x equal to 3 now let's try to accommodate x equal to 3 in this equation okay so we are going to accommodate this fellow wants some room let us give that room say x equal to 3 if i take x equal to 3 in this so we are plugging in x equal to 3 in this and then we get this one okay so 3 square 3 square minus p we need to compute right so p plus 1 multiplied by 3 plus 2p plus 2 equal to 0 okay so 9 okay 9 minus this multiplication quantity plus twice the p plus 2 equal to 0 if you solve it if you solve this then you would get p equal to 8 so p is 8 okay now you have to venture one step further by substituting x equal to 6 in the same equation okay now check for this x equal to 6 you have one of the roots as 6 here you plug in this 6 in this equation and check whether or not we get again the base p as 8 you have to get it yeah please do solve it and post the same in our comments section yeah thank you for watching this please do subscribe for the upcoming videos <clears throat> we have many interesting videos in line yeah thank you very much have a nice day.